asking me a question. How do you do the this turn of train? Um, so how do you do the turn of train? Let me set it up so that I can show you. I'm gonna have it so Mr. Game and Watch is mashing shield. So as soon as he gets hit, he's just gonna shield like that. So that's going to determine whether the combo is true or not. You need to have your opponent at a specific percent. The golden percent is usually between uh, 65 and 70. That's the best percent to start it at. Anything below is not going to be true. It might be true, but it's going to be very frame specific, very frame tight. You smash toss it, right? You can do it out of shield. So you can do it like that. Uh, just remember the opponent has to be right in front of you. Not exactly right in front of you, but like at least maybe like no further, no further than this, I want to say. Um, smash toss, and then you do that. So like you do a float, like dash float, but after you press jump, press Z so you can Z catch the turnip and then float. And then release. Like that. And then you just repeat, you just... You just repeat it. And keep in mind the percent that I'm showing you at, this is for regular turnip. This is not for wink face, dot eye, or stitch. This is for regular turnip. It's good that I show you with regular turnip because they're more common than stitch faces and dot eyes and all that, you know? And you could do it two, maybe three times. On some characters, you could do it even four times and then get the back air at the end. Just because Game & Watch is a light character, I would just only go for two of them, like that. It's far more consistent than trying to go for three. On most of my opponents, I just, I just go for two. So it's like one, two, back air. One, two, back air. I feel like the hardest part of this combo is the raw back air. And then let me also show you the wink face variation because wink faces, although they're not too common, they're more common than stitches and dot eyes by a large margin. So the golden percent for wink faces, I wanna say is as early as 25. And I recommend you stick with maybe like 30%, like 35. Between like 30 and 35 is the best percent for turnip train with wink face. But you can only get two trains and then the follow-up is interesting you can get a down tilt into a forward air all right yeah so that's the combo you do it with a stitch i mean obviously you could do it with stitch and dot eye but the best percent is zero that's especially the best percent let me show you the stitch variation i got a stitch yeah so you can connect three Um, keep in mind, again, it's going to work better at 0%. To be completely honest with you, I think the best character to do turnip train on has to be me brawler or the Mies. I think the Mies are so... I don't know if it's because they're fast fallers or because they're heavy. I really don't know what property it is, uh, what property I need to point out. But they're just so easy to turnip train. And it's crazy. Like... You can do it so many, so many more times. You can probably do it like four or maybe even five chains into a back air. 65. Look at that. Like easy, easy punish. It's so rewarding too. I'm pretty sure I could have done another one. I think the fifth one gonna put him in a tech situation so at that point all you got to do is tech chase thankfully the tech chase if you're if you, if you do it across the stage the tech chase is gonna start at the edge so all you really have to do is just cover roll in if he rolls out or text in place he's gonna be at the ledge anyway yeah so much damage and so consistent too it's so much easier on brawler it's like if you're going to practice turnip train, practice it on Brawler.
If you if you look at this, if you look at what you know, if you look at what's happening, doesn't it remind you of Fox from Melee with his wave shining across the ledge or across the stage, I mean? Um and then obviously like Fox finishes it with up smash, but Peach finishes it with back air. And um that's still pretty good because Peach back air, like once you once you back to them off stage, she has very good edge guarding tools. She has float, she has turnips, she has toad. Um she has like back air. Just even being on the ledge versus Peach is already really scary. So like getting your opponent off stage with back air is just insane mileage versus your opponent. And then in some cases you'll grab the turnip. In some cases you'll you'll be able to catch the turnip like that. So you can still follow up quickly 